Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for episode 2 of Card Concoctions. If you guys haven't seen the first episode, I'll have the playlist linked down below so you guys can watch them all. But essentially what I do is pull out a couple items I want to use and make a card with all of them. Sort of like a grab five for a scrapbooking layout except for cards. So I have a Concord and Ninth stamp set and then a old paper pad from My Mind's Eye and then two punches, a one inch circle punch and then a Creative Memories hexagon punch. This card takes so many turns that I did not expect. I first started off with a patterned piece of paper from that uh, paper pad and cut that to four and a quarter by five and a half. Then I start pulling out some coordinating card stocks. Now most of my card stocks are from Joann's or Michael's so I don't have specific color links or anything like that. Then what I decided to do is use that beautiful sort of raspberry color that's within the pattern paper. I use that card stock color and make a little border and then I use one of my one inch circle punches which is from EK Success and I start looking to see if I can use those. Now I originally thought I was going to make a hexagon sort of layout to go with the lines that are on the uh, pattern paper there but that doesn't really work out because of the size of my hexagon punch so that was a little bit disappointing. So instead I make this little circular pattern and start using these stamps from the Kindness stamp set. Now this is a slightly older stamp set but if I can find it I'll have it linked down below in case you guys want to purchase it. And as always, I try to use affiliate links whenever I can, but sometimes I can't. But some of the affiliate links are down below, and you guys can support me by purchasing through those, and I'll get a small commission at no additional cost to you. So here I'm trying to figure out the rest of my title. So I didn't know what kind of card I wanted. I wasn't making this for any purpose other than just to have some extra cards in my stash. So I started off with this, and it says Kind-Hearted Friend. And I did a test piece here. I pick up the part that says Hearted Friend and stamp that on the pattern to see if it will show up or if it will like disguise into the background. And lo and behold, it just fades into the background. And I'm using my Memento Tuxedo Black ink today, in case you guys were wondering, and that's what I used to stamp the little images on the circles as well. So once I realized that won't work, I thought about doing something else, maybe sort of a block design with these little hexagons. And again, these hexagons are one inch, so they're not nearly as big as I originally thought they were. So I have to use a creative method for using that punch later on. So here I'm struggling to find a way to use this stamp on this pattern. So I either need to find a doily, I need to find a tag, I need to find a die cut that can go behind this so that it stamps nicely and looks good. The uh, biggest punch I have is two inches, a two inch circle, so I knew that would not fit the whole title. So I look for this doily. The doily would have worked, it would have fit, but it would have looked really awkward with all those other things I already pulled out. So what I decided to do is pull out this scrap sheet of paper, which is a cream color. Um, it's the one I used to punch out that one inch circle in the middle of the page. And I'm currently off screen measuring how large the word kind is in the stamp set so I can make sure that this is wide enough. And I decided to create my own tag in this color since it'll match the rest of the layout. Or the rest of the card. Oops, my bad. And then here I'm going to rearrange the stamps. And so now it says kind hearted friend and I'm going to stamp that together. And I have no idea what color card stick this is. It almost feels different than the rest of mine so I'm wondering if it was one of the hand-me-down kinds that I had but um, it's a perfect match for that cream color that's in the My Mind's Eye product sometimes. And again, this is a really old paper pad, so I'm really glad to be using it. Let me know if you guys are enjoying these card process videos. I know a lot of people who do card videos do more tutorial style. Mine are more of just like a fun process for how I work through how to make my cards, and I know a lot of people appreciate that that are scrapbookers because it sort of gets them an idea of how they can sort of start working with their supplies to make more cards. And if you guys are interested in more cards, I do have a series I do with Sarah Scraps here on YouTube called Card Making for Scrapbookers where you guys can see we focus on one pro product every month that's more scrapbooking based and we use it on our card as the focus so kind of giving it more of a feel that you wouldn't need all those stamps and all those coloring tools but you can use it any way you want. Here I'm creating my unique tag. I end up using the little large hexagon punch here and punching some cute little like they're almost like indents, they're little chomps out of the tag, um, but it gives it that tag shape. I originally wanted straight sides, but then I lined it up improperly and then it wasn't going to work, so we went with what we had. And then I realized I needed some ribbon or something, it, the tag looked too plain. So one thing I decided to do is look through my ribbon that I have, and I also look through uh, my tools to see if I can punch a hole with anything. If you guys didn't know, I'm in the midst of a move. I'm living between two places at the moment because I'm moving out of my parents' house into my apartment. So 
it's a little bit of a struggle to have some of my craft supplies every which way, but slowly but surely they'll all transfer to this new location, hence why you keep seeing my desk change from video to video. Um, but I hope you guys still appreciate all the videos I'm filming, um, but I hope this setup works for now for you guys. So I just used the edge of my scissors to sort of slice a hole into the top of the tag. Um, I made sure I was on top of like a post-it note, well a post-it note stack to make sure I had that give that the scissor blade needed to cut through as well as not scratch my table because I do not have a cutting mat here at the moment, but I am going to bring mine soon. And then I threaded this lace through. Um, this is just some lace from Recollections and I used my tiny attacher to attach that. Now these aren't the sharpest scissors that I own, so forgive me for the little raggedy edges, I will fix that later on. But for now, it's really hard to tell on camera, but these did not stamp very well, the larger kind were didn't. Um, and Memento is not my favorite ink for stamping, and I would have used my stamping platform from Tim Holtz, but I'm still getting the hang of that. Um, so I went with the quicker method of hand stamping. Um, but I'm just using this old zig marker to fill it in, make sure it's dark black, um, and it looks a lot better that way. And slowly the card will be coming together here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this process. It's a different type of card for me. And if you guys would like card sketches based off the cards that I create, let me know in the comments down below and I can start putting those over on my blog. I think that might be helpful for some newer card makers or if you guys um, just need an inspiration starter for when you're making your cards. Now I thought that the top portion of this tag looked so empty and I hated it. So I ended up going for a longer title. Um, I end up picking out this little phrase here, again from the Concord 9th stamp set, which says thank you for being so kind. So it's essentially going to say thank you for being so kind hearted, friend. So I'll put a comma in there and then it'll all make sense. Sometimes I wish that there were commas included in some of the stamp sets, but then again I have really a uh, hard time finding those little stamps when I need them, so who knows, I probably don't need them. But I'm just going to use the same ink um, and make sure that's kind of lined up. So it says thank you for being so kind hearted friend. But there'd be a comma between hearted and friend, which I think I add on camera, I'm not sure. And hopefully that's grammatically correct. It seemed right at the time, so let's hope it still is. Sometimes I wonder. <laughs> but now we're just going to put the card together. I usually use my ATG gun to put cards together. Um, it's just my go-to adhesive. I find it very easy to use, and I like that I don't have to refill the adhesive every time I'm scrapbooking. Or creating. I find that I do go through rolls very quickly, but then again, I add a lot of adhesive more so than probably the average person, especially when it comes to cards, because I know that a lot of people that I send cards to keep their cards, um, but it really depends. So I'm just going to assemble that together, and that will be sort of it. But I do add a couple more touches. I don't add anything like enamel dots or something like that. I just didn't feel like it was appropriate for this card since this card won. I don't know why I'll be sending it, but I think the cheerful colors really give that uh, feel that we need. Um, but I am going to adhere all of these down. And one special thing that I do is I put a little foam adhesive underneath this heart. I just think it adds that little pop that you need um, to give the card a little bit more dimension besides the ribbon at the top there. And again, there's a pattern with these stamps here, the pink or more of a raspberry and then the teal and then the raspberry. And of course they have those stamped images on them, which again are with the pattern. So I just glue all of those down, and that's pretty much it for this card. Let me know what you guys thought. This is definitely a card outside of my comfort zone, um, but it uses very minimal supplies, mostly paper and a stamp set, um, so you don't need too much. Uh, I know several scrapbookers have stamp sets like this that have those little images in them, so if you do, definitely check out um, this sort of design. It'll definitely work well for you. But here's where I'll point out everything that I ended up using. I used the original uh, pieces that I originally intended to, which is part of the challenge for this card concoction series. And again, I have a playlist of all of these down below, but I used the pattern paper there in the background, my punches in unique ways, and then the main stamp set, which is from Concord and Ninth, and I'm so happy that I finally got to use it. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.